What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Bubbaville Bassin. Uh, first off, I want to start off by saying uh, thank you, Bubba Bass, for doing that great uh, intro to your uh, your last video you put up yesterday. Much appreciated. If, uh, if you haven't seen his channel, check out Bubba Bass. Great channel. Now, uh, what I'm going to get into here is um, I actually found a way to peg my weight, to peg my bullet weight on... Um, my uh, my flipping setup. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna go into how I'm gonna go into how I first thought of this. I tried using a piece of tape, like a bobber stop, but there's a lot of things out there where they say um, if you have a pegged weight, it puts weight on the fish. Where when he's trying to throw the hook, it it helps it helps put leverage on the hook to to knock the hook out. And people lose more fish and it's it's better to have a sliding weight versus a pegged weight and all this stuff. I, I've I personally don't believe in that. Um, I believe in there's certain situations where you peg your weight for what you're fishing. Um, first of all, on this technique I'm about to show you, I would only prefer it with braid, 30 pound or 50 or on up, which I use Power Pro. It's the green moss. It's the uh, 50 pound braid. Now, when you're pegging your weight, I don't know why you'd be flipping without braid. That's just me. Because, you know, you got a horse fish out of cover and, you know, lay downs and, you know, rocks and stump stumps and, you know, brush piles. But, um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to peg the weight. Now, obviously, if you're fishing a single isolated stump, you, you want your weight to slide because if there's only one stump, it's just going to fall right in, right in front of it and just flutter down. But if you're fishing a lot of brush piles and stuff and you want to get it in that key spot when you're flipping, that would that, that's what I would recommend. Alright guys, so I got my little box here. You're going to need a toothpick. You can get like a box of 1500 of those for like $2 versus a bobber stop that's... Um, Bobber stops usually come in, I think, eight to ten packs. They're like six to seven dollars and all that good stuff. You need a four wide gap hook or any type of hook you want. You want a nice stout hook that won't bend. And you need a, I think this is a one fourth ounce weight. And I also carry my braid scissors so I can cut my braid and all that stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some line out. And I'm gonna snip it. With my Power Pro 50 pound braid. Now what I'm gonna do is put your is put your uh, your line through your your bullet weight just like you'd normally do. Now I tie a uh, a clinch knot. I usually spin it probably about eight times. If I can get it to spin, <laughs> this braid's pretty thick. But I usually spin it about eight times. I put it through the bottom and then through the top loop. Now then I cinch it tight. You don't have to uh, wet it or anything because it's not mono or, or fluorocarbon. And then take my braid scissors. I got these at like Walmart for like I don't know, two or three dollars. So I snipped the tag end. I mean the uh, the excess piece. I think the tag end is called this one. Well, I'm not totally sure. Okay, so see how your weight slides. It's good for you know isolated trees and stuff, but it's not good for um, for um, brush piles and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this this crawl by uh, Bubbaville Custom Baits. I'm gonna Texas rig it. Just like that. Tuck down my hook. Okay, so see how it how it wants to slide still. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my toothpick, put it down on the hole down here, shove it as far as possible, and I'm gonna break it off. Well that didn't work. 
shove it down as far as possible and then break it off. Make sure you don't have no excess uh, piece in there. So you can see now it's stuck, so you want to slide it on down. Alright, so you see it? How it doesn't want to move? See? So now your bait's going to fall down just like that. Now, if you wanted to, you could slide it up and down like you need to. See, it still doesn't move. The toothpick trick works. All right, guys, so I'm going to go grab the ducket with my Cinco rig tied on, and I'm going to show you that it still works. All right, guys. All right, guys, so I got the ducket. I got the Cinco. Now I'm ready for some flipping. I'm going to try this Friday in a pond. Fishing with my buddy Justin, but yeah, I'm a, I'm a flip sinkos mm -hmm. and crawls and all that good stuff, and I'm gonna see what I can get doing all that. But uh, thank you all guys for watching. Hopefully these tips actually help. Um, I, I picked it up online. You know, I wanted to try it because I didn't feel like paying, you know, eight or nine dollars, whatever, where, whatever it is for bobber stoppers. You know, you get cut off, you lose your bobber stopper, and all that good stuff. But uh, hopefully this was helpful. Hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, stay tuned for Friday's video. I'm probably going to do a video for Saturday and Sunday. So stay tuned, guys.